this video, I will be explaining three matrix operations the scalar multiplication, the addition, and subtraction of matrices. The first of this operation will be the scalar multiplication. And when I say scalar, it refers to a number. For example, could be k equal negative 3. Remember that a number is also a matrix, it's a one by one matrix. But in this case, I want to indicate that this number is going to behave as a number, not as a matrix. So I'm going to call it a scalar. So imagine that we have this scalar, minus 3. I will be explaining these operations with examples. Imagine that we have this scalar and we have this matrix. And we want to make the multiplication. So the multiplication of the scalar by a matrix will be another matrix and another matrix of the same size of the original matrix. So the answer, because this B is a matrix of, is a two by three matrix, so two row, three columns, the answer will be a matrix of two row, three columns. And we can say that it's obtained multiplying this scalar by each of the entries of the matrix. So I will be multiplying, so the answer will be a matrix, and I will be multiplying minus three times minus three. And I will be multiplying minus three times this two, and this minus three times zero, and this minus three times a. And any time that I made the operation, the answer will be in the same position of the number. For example, when I multiply by nine, the answer will be in the same position of this nine. That is, this in this case will be the second row, second column. And for example, this four, when I multiply this minus three times four, the answer will be in this position of, in the position of this four. So minus three times four, and this is the answer. So the only that I need to do now is just make the operation that are here. Minus three times minus three, for example, that is nine. And minus three times two, that is minus six. Minus three times zero, I know that is zero. Minus three times a is negative 24. Negative three times nine, this is negative 27. And negative three times four is 12. So this is the product of this scalar minus three times this matrix B. So it's another matrix of the same size of B. Another example. Imagine that we have this matrix B, 2, 5, 10, 4, minus 6, minus 8, 1, 6, minus 2. So this is a 3 by 3 matrix. It's a matrix that has 3 rows, 3 columns. And somebody asked me, compute 1 half of B. So 1 half multiplied by B. What is the answer? Will be another matrix. So this 1 half is an scalar. And I'm going to multiply by this B. So I will be multiplying this one half by each of the elements of B. So the answer will be one half of two, one half of four, one half. So multiplying each of the number by one half or by one over two. So the answer will be this matrix. And obviously the only that I need to do now is just make the, the operations inside the matrix. One half of two, one half times two, this is one. This number here is two, one half of four is two. One half multiplied by one is one half. One half multiplied by five is five over two. One half multiplied by minus six, this is negative three, etc. Multiply each of the number by one half and obviously we obtain a, a matrix that is the same size of the initial matrix. You can verify that each of this product is correct. Okay, so this is a scalar multiplication. We multiply each of the entries of the matrix by the scalar. Or how to make addition of matrices is what I'm going to explain now. So if we are going to make an addition of matrices, the two matrices need to have the same size. For example, if this is a two by three matrix, two row, three columns, I can add another matrix that has the same size. So will be, for example, this. And if somebody asks me, give me these two matrices that have the same size, and ask me, how much is A plus B? It will be another matrix of the same size. And what do you need to do? So 
type another matrix and add the entries that are in the same position. For example, the entry that is in the position in the first row, first column of the first matrix will be added by the element or the entries that is in the first row, first column of the second matrix. So these two, it will be added plus this negative three. So we have two plus negative three. This two that is in the first row, second column of the first matrix, will be added to this two that is also in the first row, second column of the second matrix. So this two plus this two. And we need to add this negative three plus this zero. And this five plus this eight, because they are in the same position. And this zero plus this nine, because they are in the same position. And this four plus this four, because they are in the same position. So the answer will be two plus minus three, that is this, this is negative one here. So we are going to write another matrix that have the same side and the each of the entries of the new matrix will be the addition of the two respectively respective entries of the matrices. So this two plus minus three will be negative one. This two plus two, this is four. This is negative three plus zero, this is negative three. This is five plus eight, this is 13. Zero plus nine, this is nine. And this finally is four plus four, that is eight. So this is the result of the addition of matrices. So again, this is an easy operation of matrices. And finally, we have a subtraction, and the subtraction will be in the same way. So if we have, we need to have two matrices of the same size. So assume that we have two matrices, and assume that they are the same matrices A and B, and we are going to subtract the two matrices. So we are going to know what is A minus B. A minus B will be another matrix of the same size. And what do you need to do? Subtract the respective entries of the matrix. So two minus minus three, this two minus this two, this negative three minus this zero, etc. So we're gonna have this two minus minus three, this two minus two, this negative three minus zero, this five minus a, this zero minus nine, and finally this four minus four. So close the bracket to symbolize that we have the matrix inside. And then just make the respective operation. This is two plus three, actually this is five. So the answer will be another matrix of the same size. It will be five, this is zero. So let's type here, this is five, this is two minus two is zero. This is minus three minus zero, this is negative three. This is five neg minus eight, this is again negative three. 0 minus 9, this is negative 9, and finally 4 minus 4 is 0. And this is the result of the subtraction of the two matrices. Again, to subtract two matrices, we subtract the elements in the same position of the two matrices. And the result is another matrix of the same size of the original matrix. Okay. I think with that I finished the explanation. We have more operations with matrices, but that will be in another video. Thank you.